Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. It's your boy Fat Crypto, and today I'm going to be doing a technical analysis on BPRO. If you're new to my channel, I do technical analysis, coin overviews, trading series, basically trying to be your one stop shop for crypto information. If you enjoy the video, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. If you don't dislike it, let me know why so I can actively improve. Uh, I'd like to point out two things. The first, I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own research before investing in any of the cryptocurrencies I talk about. And number two, if you'd like to help me out help, uh, or, or just buy any crypto, feel free to use my Binance link down in the description. It's the exchange I personally use. has a lot of coins, um, a very intuitive interface. I love it. And uh, if by using that link, you'll get 10% of the commission they take, as well as giving me 10% of the commission they take off each trade. So win-win if you ask me. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. So I wanted to bring this BPRO video because BPRO is looking quite nice, if you ask me. Um, obviously, this could all go to crap at any moment, especially if Bitcoin uh, Bitcoin seems to be quite happy at the moment. He's going up. He's uh, he's uh, had a little, he's found a, a, a relative level of support and is, yeah, I'm going to go start moving up now. Um, so if, <laughs> if Bitcoin then decides, actually, you know what? I don't, I don't like life. I'm going to start drop it again uh then all these altcoins are gonna um, rather annoyingly dip as well so uh this depends on if Bit uh, bitcoin carries on behaving himself as well as um you know you know this this is looking quite nice at the moment and the reason being is if you've watched my other b pro videos you'll know um that it's been trading in this sort of uh descending narrowing wedge or bull pennant whatever you want to call it um quite nicely since the 16th of march right we can see how uh, resistance up here support down here resistance support 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 resistance support 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 resistance resistance and you'll see and i'll be mentioning all my other previous b pro videos uh if you haven't checked them out please do um that we're gonna have to break out something has to happen before the 28th of april um, and right now, obviously nothing is fully confirmed yet, but we have got a four hour candle close above this line, which was previously a very strong resistance. As you can see, we struggle to get a candle close above this upper line. Now we have a candle close and it almost seems like we have a retest and are now starting to move up. It is seeming like we have broken out of this pattern and it seems like we've broken to the upside. This could be very positive. We could now really start to see BPRO starting to test these uh, resistances that I've created um, and really shoot up, especially with the fundamentals behind the project. The, fu the fundamentals look very strong. Um, this could really do some nice things. Um, if To mention the resistances, I've got a, uh, my first resistance at 0 0.014 to 0 0.0159 cent, right? You can see within this area, we have a lot of resistance and a lot of price action that acted as a support as we were trading here. And then my next resistance is between uh, 0 0.0179 cent to 0 0.0203 cent. As you can see, this area was a strong resistance. Um, when it did break below, it was, well, when it was above, it was acting as a support. And if I were to extend this out, you could see support, support. And so when we enter this region again, I would expect some resistance. Thirdly, I have resistance between 0 0.023 and 0 0.025 cent. As you can see, this was a support, resistance, resistance, support, support, support. A lot of price action, hence why I'll be expecting some resistance in this region. It's also important to note that this line that I have here also acted as a strong, it struggled to close a candle a four hour candle above this line. So once we do hit this line, I would expect some resistance, a nice retest. If we do retest it and it holds the support, I would expect this to absolutely explode. Um, my next level of resistance is between 0 0.029 and 0 0.031 cent. You can see a very heavy price rejection as soon as we entered this region, coinciding with both of our trend lines right we can see if we further extend this resistance acted as a support resistance yet again, acting as support so this is a region where i'd expect some price action finally i have a resistance between 0 0.033 and 0 0.036 we can see 
very strong. This is this is where the candles have closed and have found very he heavy price rejections. You can see it hit this level. I mean, it went all the way up here, closed the candle within here, strong price rejection. Yet again, closed the candle just below heavy price rejection. So there seems to be a lot of selling pressure when we hit these regions. Obviously, we can take resistances up to here as well with the all-time high, uh, but I like taking them from candle closes. But say this does break down, maybe it's a little fake out and we do break further down. I would expect 0 0.007 to 0 0.0086 cent to be a strong support. If we take it further back, we can see this was a light area of previous consolidation as well as an area of previous very strong resistance it took from the 27th of Feb to the 14th of March to break this resistance and the stronger something is as a resistance the stronger it is as a support so I would expect this to hold um, if this doesn't hold then the next area of resistance I'm looking at is 0 0.0038 cent to 0 0.0056 cent we can see this marked a very strong support during this consolidation phase, right? That same period that I mentioned before, which it struggled to break through here, this this was the coinciding support, which has been tested, tried and tested numerous times, which can't be the same, uh, said that we can't say the same for this one because this is yet to be tested. Uh, but the fact that this has been tested numerous times and has held very strong is a very good indicator that this is a strong support. Uh, I just really wanted to bring this video out because this is looking like it's breaking out of this pattern and when it breaks out of a pattern it can be uh, especially with small caps it can be very explosive um, so yeah just putting it out there I know a lot of uh, my viewers are B pro holders and uh, there's been a lot of let's say negativity uh, within the comments that I've seen with uh, people losing faith in beat pro whatnot and i say the same thing to everyone like if you back the fundamentals look at the fundamentals are the fundamentals strong we've got esports live betting coming out next month they've got all sorts of events coming out next month they've got a great team when you look at what the product is actually trying to do as well what the project is actually trying to do as well it's looking very very strong gaming and DeFi, i think is going to be huge so if you that's why i say if you always research and be fully backing the projects that you're investing in. If you do, then price action shouldn't really scare you because we're in a bull market, provided the bull market doesn't end, these things should go up. Good projects should go up, right? So if you back a project and you know fully the fundamentals are strong, especially when you're investing in these micro caps, which correct 70% plus, this is normal for these micro caps to correct this much, especially after the huge run it had, it shouldn't scare you, right? That's I'm, Like I said, it's not financial advice. Please do your own research. But right now, I wanted to bring this to your attention. It looks like it's breaking out. I hope you enjoyed that quick TA. Um, if you did, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. If you did not dislike it, let me know why you dislike the video. And yeah, I'll see you in this next video.